At Honeycomb, we want great observability for everyone. For some companies, that means going big on open telemetry and tracing. But for other companies, it means logs and infrastructure metrics right now. We are focused on immediate value from existing data so that people can move toward cardinality as an asset, move between reading data, graphing data, and mapping flows of data, and move into collaboration with their observability platform. It begins in Honeycomb Telemetry Pipeline, which manages open telemetry collectors and adds some sugar on top. Dozens of ordinary data sources can be configured in just a few clicks and then rolled out with another click. This data can be processed and enhanced with configuration wizards. And my favorite part, you get to test these transformers on real data going through the collectors right now. Shout out to cost control. You can also filter what you send to Honeycomb and then send everything to the cloud for later rehydration in case of FOMO. Once those logs arrive in Honeycomb, you want to look at them. This year, we completely revamped this data view so that you can read logs comfortably. There's full text search, plenty of scrolling, but this is not an ordinary log string. This is structured data, and we are in the Honeycomb Query Editor with the full power of filtering and grouping and aggregating. I can see it as structured data, and I always have access to the full set of dimensions sent to Honeycomb. I can interact with them. Choose which values to see, or choose to see all values. It's fast! The idea is to get people hooked on getting quick answers, on doing analysis over their logs. Because more data is not more information until we can analyze it like this. And then you get a taste for tracking down the data you need, for using the whole power of Honeycomb to find what you're looking for, to narrow in on it, to see everything that's available and then choose just what you want. Actually, I want any lambda. And then to see what you need to see, parse what you need to parse sometimes. I can do this with a calculated field. I could also do it in the telemetry pipeline, but the calculated field works on data that's already in Honeycomb. Then noticing surprises, and sharing it with my team. Our new flexible boards offer new chart types and fun scooting around. Yeah. Honeycomb is for collaboration. There's boards, there's SLOs, and then my favorite, query history. I can see what everyone else has been up to. I can always see exactly what they see because every query result URL in Honeycomb is forever. The results are available even after the data behind it has aged out. But the ultimate move for collaboration in Honeycomb is the switch from my logs versus your logs to everyone looking at the same trace. As teams add open telemetry, it sneaks in a trace ID and span ID on each log, so it shows up here in context. And the recommendation team can say, hey, product catalog was unavailable. But the product catalog team can say, hey, I returned success. And then the recommendation team is like, oh, crap, this is my problem. Because they're looking at the same picture. And then anybody can say, which customers were affected? Recommendation doesn't have that information, but front end does. Who else was affected? It happened 750 times. And these people were affected. Honeycomb lets you query across spans in a trace. High cardinality like this comes for free. It comes fast and hopefully it spoils you because you're really gonna need it when you integrate with an LLM. New features like relational fields increase the power of Honeycomb. While features like log lines and Honeycomb Telemetry Pipeline give people familiar access to familiar data while drawing them into the power of Honeycomb. 
Visit honeycomb.io to request a personalized demo or get started with a free account right now.